She's a Trump supporter and skeptical of most fact checks she sees online. There's a video that Eric Trump retweeted a few days after the election that purported to show Trump ballots being set on fire. Oh, I've seen that video. That's false. The election officials who control in Virginia, those set of ballots said they're not real ballots. Is that not a, a good service that, that something like that gets when it's no. shown to be false? No. Why not? Because why can't somebody say, I, how do we know that's real? Aren't we smart enough to say, whose video is this? Eric said Trump wasn't smart enough. That video played into the idea on election week that there was all this mass fraud. It no. played into the no. idea. No, 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 no. So, well, I'm a Fox News watcher and Sean Hannity is going to be here today and I figure that's a twofer. I love Sean Hannity. I don't really think anybody actually has a, a fair enough answer because yes, there's the right and the left. I try and read CNN and then read Fox and then try and figure out my own middle ground. Mostly on the, off the web, social media, Fox News. Uh, there, there's a couple of websites that we'll go to that after you watch them for a while, you can tell if they're doing a decent job, a straight job of reporting the news. You know, I'm a millennial and I can see in my college classes if you ask, a lot of, almost all, a majority of the students get their media from, exclusively from social media, like Twitter. Uh, Drudge, Infowars, that type of thing. Well, yeah, the real question is, who are these 29%? Yeah. I mean, I, I'm, I'm surprised anyone thinks we're going in the right direction. I, you know, you talked about energy, but you could go down the list, Rob. I mean, I, we went from under Trump to a secure border to now we have complete chaos on our border. We went from energy independence and gas at $2 and something a gallon to now where we have the spectacle, I mean, the spectacle of the president of the United States begging OPEC to increase production. We went from safe streets to rising crime because Democrats defund the police. Yep. We went from being respected around the world to the debacle that was the exit from Afghanistan and on and on we could go. So I'd like to know who these 29% are because uh, right. I don't know that they've done one thing right and it's understandable, frankly, yeah. that um, that is that bad. What's up everybody, Major Retired Richard O'Jet here and I'm a little confused. I didn't think that Jimbo Jordan was capable of speaking without screaming at the top of his lungs. You know, where are the sweaty armpit stains that we're all accustomed to when he is standing in front of the camera? I mean, is this even the same guy? Folks, the truth is, is that this is all an act and it's always been an act. This guy uses national spotlight to earn brownie points with Trump and his sea of brainwashed racist followers. They target people that they know are vulnerable. And this is not a new tactic. You know, cult leaders have been using this type of recruiting method for years. They find people whose lives have not gone their way. They give them someone to, to believe in and, and, they, and they make them think that everything that's wrong with their life is somebody else's fault. They give them a sense of purpose purpose and then they're hooked and they will literally do anything for them, you know, including participated in an insurrection.